Apologies in advance. I am very sick right now, but the grind doesn't stop. The content's got to keep going, ladies and gentlemen. This is probably the best of the seasonal weapons in the Season 18 experience. This is the Tarnished Metal. This is my favorite scout currently. And I think there's some interesting combinations here. We're going to talk about those today. We have three God Rolls to break down. A, an in-game, like, GM-ready build. A Basically one for every other PvE activity for the casual experience, which is about 90% of the other content. And then the PvP one, because scouts are booming in popularity because of the range maps that we currently have in rotation. So we're going to break those down, talk about Volt Shot, which is basically the Arc 3.0 answer to what Incandescent was for Solar 3.0. And this gun is unique in a way that it has Demolitionist in the first trait column, which I don't actually remember the last time a gun had that in that column, let alone Demolitionist, because the last one I even remember having Demolitionist was Pointed Inquiry, and that gun just gets no play anymore. So... This should definitely be one of the most popular 3.0 options out there for those that want to put their builds together and is definitely 3.0 already so let's jump into it okay guys so let's talk about the pvp god roll and get that one out of the way now there's a lot of preference between the mags and the masterwork so you pick and choose whatever you feel most comfortable with honestly this gun is just really nice out the gate so you're just basically strengthening an already strong portion of the one the only thing that kind of stands out for me and i don't even know if it's necessary is arrowhead break simply because the recoil pattern that's a wide gap right there, but at the end of the day, it is also a scout rifle, which means you have a slower rate of fire, it's going to recenter quicker, so this may not be a necessity, but at the end of the day, I'm not losing too much in terms of stats here. So I like Arrowhead Break. It's a tighter spread, and this is probably going to make a difference for a lot of people, especially controller users out there, but that is the only thing that I advise you to do. Uh, as for the first trait column right here, Rapid Hit is a no-brainer for Crucible, in my opinion. That is going to allow you to be able to reload, get right back into the engagements. It's going to help the stability, and obviously helping you in terms of flinch. That is going to be absolutely massive for PvP. Explosive Payload is, again, one of those traits that really just helps additional flinch to the enemy and also helps with damage drop-off. So at the end of the day, you're reducing your flinch and your reload and also enhancing theirs, and that is just an insanely good combination. For your average PvE content, I'm talking raids and below, so basically non-GM activities, I would advise you guys to go into Demolitionist. Now, the reason I like Demolitionist is obviously because it's 3.0 ready. It's going to help you with your generation, with your reloads, and this is just one of those great traits that is just so phenomenal currently in the meta. And at the end of the day, I don't remember the last time this trait was in this column for a scout rifle, if ever, actually. So this might be a unique thing. The only other gun that I remember even having one in the scout rifle frame is Pointed Inquiry, which I think had it in this column. So this is just a really unique combination that you could put things together you traditionally wouldn't. I would pair that with Volt Shot for average activities because this thing is really, really nice. Reloading this weapon after defeating a target overcharges this weapon for a short period of time, which is 5 seconds, causing it to jolt on X and X hit. So basically, you kill with this weapon, you reload, and the next time that you hit an enemy, you basically cast jolt onto that enemy. And as you continue to damage that specific enemy, it's going to chain lightning out to surrounding enemies. So it's an AoE effect, basically. For the GM roll, Rapid Hit, I think, is the go-to here, but again, Demolitionist is nothing to look down on. I like Rapid Hit for the reasons we previously mentioned. The reload speed is going to allow you to basically harass enemies especially if it's paired up with the artifact and you're basically taking on the champions i love what that can do demolitionist still is self-explanatory phenomenal for even a gm build and then your choice between either dragonfly or explosive payload i like dragonfly because it weakens the enemies basically on a kill if you are able to secure that one it does have a little punching power i really started to like this a little more on the insidious and at the end of the day it does have a little value for your end game explosive payload is just one of those things that allows you to put pepper and damage out to a distance without having to worry about drop-off, flinch, and everything is just great with this thing. So I would still probably use Rapid Hit and Explosive Payload for my GM experiences and stick to the Demolitionist and Bolt Shot for everything else. I'm going to have both the GM and the standard PvE roll put together, and I'm even considering the PvP one. I'm a big Pulse fanboy, and the fact that Rapid Hit pairs with Explosive Payload makes me like go, okay, maybe I'll make one of these for Crucible too. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider leaving a thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm and growing our channel. And uh, make sure you have notifications turned on and you are subscribed so you never miss future videos just like this one.